It was a really tough game. Um, heavy pitch. They came and played a, a system that was very defensive, 4-5-1. Um, they clogged up the centre of the park, therefore, found it, we found it very difficult to have um, quality possession. And to be fair, throughout the most of the game, we didn't really perform well. Um, we, we lacked a lot of quality. Uh, you know, we're, we're very grateful. It's a very important three points against the team um, right next to us in the table. Um, and uh, we knew it was massive with, with the games that we've got coming up ahead. So poor performance, really, but a battling performance and um, just very relieved we've got the three points. Bromley came with the game plan and they did it very well and we didn't perform. The quality wasn't there uh, throughout the pitch. Um, we've got to realise that teams will watch us and, and they, um, you know, it's not going to be as easy, not that it's been easy, but as, as straightforward as it's been in the last few games. Um, you know, there's new players in the team which other teams are, are now looking at. So it's a great dressing room in there where you turn around and say, look, we haven't played well, we haven't really stuck to our game plan um, and, and we've won the game. So very pleased. It, it was a battle in there. Um, a few people's heads did dip down, we showed some inexperience, um, we didn't stick to the game plan, um, but we got the three points, so as far as I'm concerned, um, very, very pleased, and um, we know we've got a lot to improve on. Um. I know you're going to say it's only another league game, but uh, they don't come much bigger than this one, a local derby, Boxing Day. What's your thoughts on this game, away to league leaders Woking? Um, it's going to be tough. Um, looking forward to it, though. Um, can't wait. Um, I'd imagine there'll be two and a half thousand people there. Um, if the players can't get themselves up for that type of game, um, then they really shouldn't be wearing farm shirts. And we've got some big pluses. We go into the game um, with them running away with the league. All credit to them. A fantastic side. But the pressure's going to be on them. Um, so we'll go there. We'll take the positives we've had in the first five weeks. And um, we'll get everything we've got. And um, we've got two bites at them. First at theirs and then uh, back here on, uh, on uh, New Year's Day. Um, and we're looking forward to it. Um, the pressure's off, really. And if we can get anything from either game, then we'll be delighted. Um, um, but well, we're really looking forward to it. Yeah, well, they only drew 1-1 uh, uh, with Thurrock on Saturday. And uh, Thurrock are uh, rock bottom of the league. Um, that must give you a little bit of hope. Yeah, but I would have rather that was our result the following week, really. Um, it, <laughs> No one's going to win every game in this division. It's a very tough to division. Um, and obviously Woking have had a couple of nasty injuries this week. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty certain that they will strengthen this week before we go there. Um, but nobody's unbeatable. Um, and you know we'll certainly um, prepare correctly for the game. We've, we've got some very good players. We're starting to gel as a side. We've shown real character in our last league game when we didn't play well. We know it's going to be tough. But um, we know that if things go away and we get a little bit of luck, um, then, then we, can, we can get something from the game. So we're looking forward to it. And as I said, you know, we're, not, we're not facing Manchester United or Arsenal. Um, they're very good players over there and um, they've done a fantastic job this season. Um, but you know, we'll go and we'll be positive. Yeah, I've reported on three or four times uh, this season, and you've obviously seen them as well. They're lightning quick walk from midfield forward, you know, they've got four or five players that, that can open up and get in behind any team. Um, how do you uh, uh, go against that and, and stop that happening to your side? Well, first and foremost, we've got to try and get possession of the ball. Um, if we give them easy possession, then they're going to put balls in around us and going to cause us a lot of problems. So uh, we've got to stand up to them, um, physically and mentally. Um, we've got to uh, get hold of the ball and, and stop them having uh, straightforward opportunities. Now. Um, they're going to get some, some quality possession, there's no doubt. They're the home side, they're top of the league. Um, but we'll, we'll be prepped for it. Um, and we've got some good players, and we've got some quick players as well. So um, it won't be straightforward, and the pressure's all on them. So from, from our perspective, it's sort of the, we haven't got too much to lose over there. Of course, we've got three points to lose, but um, we'd just say we're, we're very much looking forward to the game. Since you come down here, the club's on the, on the uh, run again, uh, the crowds are coming back in again. How many spectators do you reckon you're going to take over there? Because there'll be, obviously it'll be a large crowd on the boxing morning. Yeah, well, I hope the Farnborough fans get behind us. Um, we, we desperately need it. They sung their hearts out in the last game in the Father Christmas outfits. And it could well have been the difference between us getting a point and getting all three points as we did. So um, the fans need to know that it, it makes such a difference to the players, uh, particularly when things are tough. Um, to get behind the team, so I hope as many people can get over to Woking and then also to the to the home match a few days later on New Year's Day. So um, 
and we're looking forward to it and as many as possible can support us. And incidentally, it's not a morning, it's uh, Boxing Day 1 o'clock kickoff. And uh, best of luck, Spencer, and uh, let's hope we have a cracking game. I'm sure it will be.